Hello everyone, welcome to RN Tutorials on Engineering Mechanics and in this video I am going to explain about uh, how to derive uh, an equation uh, which is related to condition for maximum power transmission through the belt. So whenever the belt transmits a maximum power, so what is the relation we will be getting in terms of tensions that we have to derive here. Okay, so for that first we need to take the help of the power formula. So we already know that the power transmit power transmitted through the belt is given as T1 minus T2 into speed that is velocity. Okay, here T1 is the tension in tight side and T2 is the tension in slack side. Okay, with the help of this formula we can continue the deriving part for getting the condition for the maximum power transmission through a belt here. Okay, so here rather than this formula we already know that the ratio of two tensions that is tension in the tight side to the tension in the slack side that is given as equal to e power mu theta okay this equation already we have derived in the previous videos okay so in this from this equation we can write t2 is equal to what we can write it as t2 is equal to we can write it as t1 by e power mu theta okay assume this equation as 2 sorry this equation as 2 and already whatever the power equation we have written equation as 1 here okay so now try to substitute this second equation substitute this second equation in the equation 1 then we can write it as power p is equal to t1 minus in place of t2 we have to write this equation that is t1 divided by e power mu theta okay so now again into velocity we have to write now we can write power is equal to by taking that t1 as common take the t1 as common then t1 of 1 minus 1 by e power mu theta we can write it as into velocity okay now in this equation when you consider 1 minus 1 by e power mu theta this can be considered as a constant value then we can write it as t1 into one constant value into velocity okay so power is equal to we got one relation in terms of one constant value into tension in the tight side into velocity so assume this equation as 3 okay other than this we have to analyze what is the maximum tension okay maximum tension maximum tension in a belt already we have discussed about this maximum tension in a belt in the previous video so this t max can be written as that can be equal to tension in the tight side so whatever the tension takes place in the tight side that can be equal to the t max but this equation when we neglect the centrifugal tension okay rather than the tension in the belt there is a centrifugal tension also takes place in a belt during a rotation of the pulley okay so when you consider the t max it can be a sum of tension in the tight side plus centrifugal tension from this equation again we can write t1 is equal to t max minus tc okay so in this equation you assume this equation as another formula as 4 okay now try to substitute this fourth equation next we try to substitute this fourth equation in third equation then we get power is equal to in place of t1 we have to write t max minus tc into velocity we all know that we know that tc what is tc here tc is centrifugal tension that can be equal to mv square which is the standard formula so in place of tc try to write mv square then power is equal to we'll get t max minus mv square into v and we are forgetting the constant term we have to write the constant term also into c and here also into c okay so this is the relation we got now for maximum power condition what we can do here for maximum power transmission condition for maximum power transmission okay for any maximum power or energy condition the derivation of that equation with respect to the main element which is the velocity here okay that should be equal to zero 
okay for maximum power transmission condition here we need to make this derivation of power with respect to v equal to zero okay then we can write d by dv of p p means here we have to write t max maximum tension minus mv square into v into c that should be equal to zero okay this is a constant term we can take it to the right side it becomes equal to again zero then for deriving this equation properly you take the v velocity term into the bracket so we can write it as t max into v minus m v q that is equal to zero so now uh, for individual element try to apply the derivation sorry differentiation here so t max is constant then dv by v becomes equal to one so then we can write it as t max minus m v cube m is the constant term again d v cube by d v means it will give us m into 3 v square is equal to zero now we can write again t max minus 3 m v square is equal to zero so when you carefully observe this 3 m v square this is equal to again centrifugal tension so now we can modify the equation as t max minus t c sorry 3 t c is equal to 0 ok then we can write t max is equal to 3 t c ok so now finally we can say that the condition as t max is equal to 3 into c or t c is equal to we can write it as 1 by third of t max Okay, that means here during the power transmission the belt can absorb one third of the maximum tension as a centrifugal tension okay so one third of the t max is taken as the centrifugal tension in the belt that is the condition for the maximum power transmission okay so this is the relation we'll get for maximum power transmission condition through the belt drive that is open belt system here okay and similarly from this equation when you observe this equation t max minus 3 mv square into sorry 3 mv square is equal to 0 from this equation we can write the velocity condition under maximum power transmission okay now velocity during maximum power transmission maximum power transmission okay so from that equation again we write t max is equal to we can write it as 3 mv square okay so from this equation v square we can write it as t max divided by 3 m okay finally v is equal to how can we write it as v is equal to we can write it as root over t max divided by 3 m we can write so this is the velocity maintained by the belt during the maximum power transmission condition okay so this is the equation that is the condition that is the relation in between the two tensions centrifugal tension and the uh, maximum tension during the maximum power transmission condition and this is also velocity maintained by the belt during the maximum power transmission condition okay so that is the this is the derivation part okay for getting the condition for the maximum power transmission through the belt okay these are the steps we need to follow for deriving the equation for maximum power transmission okay i hope you understand okay this is a simple steps we need to consider by knowing the power transmission uh, by the belt and uh, ratio of two tensions and the centrifugal tension formula we can derive the equation easily okay so like this follow the steps to get the required condition i hope you understand if you still have any doubts please feel free to give a comment to my video once again thanks for watching my video thank you all